Hey guys, today I'm tearing apart my Nintendo 64, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Hey, so essentially I, my Nintendo 64 had been freezing up, so I, it'll play, but it went in the middle of games, like you'll get, I don't know, I'd say 10 minutes in, it'll uh, just freeze and it's stuck in that state and just won't do anything else. So I, I did a lot of uh, searching online for videos on how to take them apart and put them back together and fix stuff like that. And, and I found a couple, but none of them were super clear. And especially when it comes to organization for it. So I just, I'm, I'm honestly, I've already taken some of this apart, but I thought to myself, I should probably make this into a video and show the thought process. So you make it a little bit easier for the next person who tries to do it. So I'll show you where I'm at and where my thought process is already. All right. So I have a work mat, this workstation that I got from Amazon, and it's for guitars because I obviously this is a guitar channel um, mainly. But so there's all my guitar tools and the headrest. But the mat is perfect for a project like this. So the way I'm doing it is I've already taken the lid off. I had to order, by the way, these two pieces from Amazon, and they're tools made specifically for. Uh, taken off these screws and the screws have this funny little star quality anyways a game bit I think is what it's called and I got it off Amazon but so I needed to get that you're gonna need a, a regular screwdriver I've got the one with all kinds of little tips on it there so it's easy to get to stuff you're gonna need you can use just isopropyl alcohol and q-tips but I like this uh, Radio Shack electronics cleaner as well I use that a lot on electronic parts but here's, here's the thought process. I've already taken the screws off and I took the lids and stuff off, but I'm starting from the left to the right. I always lay stuff out left to right so that whenever I'm, I'm looking at the line here, the first things off were these two, all those screws. And I pulled the memory expansion out and the, the lids and the buttons that run the top, uh, I've already taken apart and I'll show you that after the fact. I'm not gonna clean these two pieces because of the screw, the springs and I don't want to mess with them but I might take a brush to them and uh, and use the brush to clean those up maybe we'll see and then there's the cap that holds these in place uh, the cartridge slot and the two screws for those I'm leaving the screws next to it this is kind of the point that I was making is I don't I don't want to lose the screws and what they go to and sometimes people can keep it in their head and sometimes people put them into like these little containers or what whatnot, but I just I do it in a line. So this is the last line that I'll work my way backwards to. So now I'm here, and I and I'll take these screws off of the heat sink apart, but I'll do it and lay them out in a sequential pattern as I move this way, and and I'll put it the screws with a specific piece of hardware. I'll put the screws with the hardware so that it's easier to make out. Now I'll go over here to the lid and the buttons so i just got a pot a little container plastic container and the top is in here soaking with some just dishwashing soap is all it is and the buttons and stuff and i'm going to scrub those and i'll probably do that before i move on so that whenever i get the other pieces out of the bottom i can put the bottom in here because i only have enough room for like one at a time All right, so I'm gonna edit a bunch of this footage, but in essence, I'm gonna just record me doing all the work here. Now again, I've watched a couple of videos, but I don't know all this perfectly. You can see the six screws that house this heat sink. These six, I'm sorry, not six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these are both the bottom of this quad and the top of this quad. So those are the main that will go on the heat sink. Um, and these two look like they hold this little partition. It's a lot of small pieces for sure, but it, it looks like it's coming together. I'm gonna start with the heat sink screws. And the only reason I'm doing the heat sink first before I do these other pieces is because it's closest to me. Again, my, my brain just works like that. It's 
better for me to go in my natural work mode because that's how I'm gonna remember it. I think that other people take these pieces off next, but I'll do that after I work down. Obviously I'll speed through some of the dull video footage here. Honestly, I'm not even 100% sure that taking this off and cleaning it's gonna work. My hope is that this cartridge piece here and the pins underneath are dirty and that's what causes it to freeze up. So I'm not certain. We'll see. I'll definitely show you the results when I get it finished. Film some footage of me playing my game. If, if it's very confusing, I even put the screws back into the, like I'd put these two into this, but that's, that's obvious. There's a bunch here. I may end up putting these two black screws back into this little metal piece so that I don't screw that up. Um, we'll see. These two have their unique screws. They have that little, uh, I don't know, it's like a washer built in. I'm gonna put these aside for now. Heat sink is still held down. <laughs> Got hangnails on my freaking thumb, man. I bite my thumbs. I chew. I chew my finger quicks all the time. It's like the worst habit in the world. It's ready to come off yet? Not quite. I think these two little bitty screws have to come off too. I'm not certain. I'm gonna take this one. And I should be able to get that little metal piece that's holding that down. I could probably use some tweezers too, but. We'll see how hard it is. That's what she said. It comes out of there. Looks like it's just a support. Yeah, it's just a support piece, but the screw goes in there. I put the screw in there. It's gonna go slightly behind this. And that's somewhere in the middle. See what I mean? It's one, two, three, in my brain. And these are somewhere next to each other, but those two black pieces went in here. Let me see if I can get that off now. didn't they? The black pieces went in there, right? By the way, these two little holes in the center just fit over these raised protrusions there. Let's do this. Not gonna mess with that just yet. This is just about ready to come up. like it'll slide out of there. Yeah. So it slides underneath this flap. Now, it looks like there are one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven screws that'll hold this plate down. These aren't ready to come off yet. I'm halfway winging this, by the way, guys. I've watched videos, but I mean, I've slept since then. These are the same length, I'm not gonna to be too worried. No, those two longer ones go in the back. So for me, I'll make those stand out from the others by giving them this different direction. And I don't know if left or right makes any difference, but I do that too. I put the left one on the left side, the right one on the right side. Again, just how my brain works. Also, this video is a good, uh, I don't know how much of it can be seen from there, but the video is a good uh, record. So if I'm if I try to put it back together and I'm screwing up, I can just go back and watch the video and say, how did I take that apart? matters that little piece is still in the bottom oh that is no it's not holding it though yeah that was from that bottom plate it was one of them that just wouldn't come out now these pieces I'll probably pull next because because nothing's moving just yet These aren't really different. I can put those together. Oh, it comes up with the chassis. And then you slide it off. It looks like I'll pull up and off because it doesn't just slide straight up. Tug on the front side. It might be these two screws here. I'll go ahead and remove them. They're really small. I might have to get, let's see if this one, this tip will work. This tip will work. Yeah, they're ultra small and um, this tip's almost too big and it might strip it. So I'd suggest be pretty careful with these. I'm gonna put a decent amount of pressure, down pressure on it as I loosen it. And now just a moderate amount of pressure to unscrew it. And don't get too overzealous and do these too fast. Because I feel like you could easily strip this little thing. Another thing I do is I take these out whenever I need to put very little pressure on it because these give you a lot of leverage. I know I'm just, it's common sense, but I'm talking out loud. No, oh yeah, now it slides right out. So coming up with it really easy. set this next to the screws that it is housed with. Hmm. It's not coming off. I'm not sure 
that I'm even gonna, I'm not gonna remove it if it doesn't need to. I'm not gonna mess with it. All right, we have these two pieces here. That'll be next. Also, and it doesn't really matter, I think they're identical, but again, I'm gonna go left, right, left side, right side. That's how my brain works. Now this piece, there's nothing else in here that I need to worry about. I think that I'm gonna go ahead and go wash the top and let it be drying so that I can stick this in there to soak before I start on that. So I'll cut the video off here, refresh my coffee, AKA go back to the store and get another one. And I'll be back shortly. All right, for this next segment, I just decided to zoom in a little bit and kind of give you a better look at how this is on the, the smaller level here. So I've taken the, the bottom assembly and I stuck it in that tub of, um, of uh, soapy water and dishwashing water, and I use my basic dish scrubber brush. And I'm letting the bottom soak in there right now. I've, I've scrubbed the top part and the buttons and the, the cover assemblies, and um, they're drying. So no, no, nothing super complicated for that. All right, gotta figure this out now. The next step is I wanna get this plate off, and I don't know if it just pulls. I can't quite remember from the videos. Just separates then there's a little bit of a snap in it looks like these small teeth probably grabbed it and held it I'll clean that it doesn't look terrible but I'll clean that it smells almost electrical burn to a, to a degree just a little bit so all right now the top parts coming off pretty easily Flip that around, see how it looks. Yeah, it's the same thing. These little teeth are what hold it. So don't be afraid to pull on that when you have all the screws out. These small teeth go into these little big grippers right there. You can see it, there's some bent metal that grabs it. This is just the heat sink. It is not terribly important to uh, the function, I mean, it is because it pulls heat off of these heat sinks here. Um, yeah, they've got a little bit of oil on them, just a tad. But those are the heat sinks that touch this and dissipate the heat. Hmm. They're the part that smells just a tad burnt. This pad underneath, by the way, these will come off. Yeah, they just twist off. Try to see if anything looks burnt on this. To be honest with you, all three of those pads don't look like they're in the best spot. Those things are held by this. Huh. All right, well, I don't see anything that I'd consider damage. These pieces are dirty. I probably need, I wonder if these can come off. It looks like they just slide. They don't. So those wires come in. And the wires look good. They're a little oxidized. I'm going to spray those down really good with this electronics cleaner. So 
So then the only piece that I see that's easily serviceable is probably going to be this piece right here. That's where the cartridge connects in. You can just wiggle that off. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of corrosion in there, actually, a ton. Maybe that's it. So I'm going to clean that down real good. And spray the whole thing down. I normally, like I said, do my guitar on this mat. I say guitar as if I only have one. If you're a guitarist, you understand. There's, there can not be just one. All right, let's get in here. Start working on this gunk. There's a lot of gunk in here. I don't know if this will prevent, make it freeze up. I'm a little concerned about these heat sinks, but I don't understand how to fix those. Um, it, cause, cause they have to be in place so that this screws into them, you know? So I know that the positioning of them are, is pretty important. Um, maybe one of you guys if any of my viewers know, you can post an answer or even link me to a video. Because that might need to be, that's the heat sink. And I almost feel like the, the game gets hot and freezes after it gets too hot. So it could, that could be the issue, honestly. And if there is, I could make a second video showing how to, how to do that if I can figure it out. I'm not going to, like, I'm not... The type of person who'll just jump in and just keep my fingers crossed though. Like I'm not about to do that. I made it. So I don't want to pull on that until I know for sure. I'm really hoping that this is the reason that the cartridge, free the game freezes up though. I wouldn't say the cartridge freezes up. I, I wish I knew how to recondition these. I know I keep saying that. I have thermal paste because my day job is IT and I used to do PC repair on a smaller scale. But, yeah. After I get the bulk of the gunk off, I'm gonna spray this whole thing down with that electronic parts cleaner. There's a lot of shit in here though. So that could be it. 1996, 97. Two for two. <clears throat> All right, so again, I'm just doing a, a basic examination and I don't see anything that looks incredibly burnt or terrible on this board. Now, there's a little bit of brown residue there. So one thing about Q-tips is you can leave parts. And these, look, I think these just stick on. They're just stuck. So pro honestly, I could probably just screw those pieces underneath and then re-stick it. But again, I, I'm not sure, so I'm not going to mess with it. I'll just get to spraying. Yeah, that's where I smell the, the funky stuff. So I'm also gonna clean this part pretty good. I, this stuff dries fast, but I just don't want it to 
just gonna try to catch some of it here. I think I'm done with the Q-tips for now. I know this doesn't look safe, but it is. <laughs> Some people are probably taking a super deep breath right now, watching this. That's what this stuff was designed for, bro. Cool story, bro. Yeah, let me I get it. I probably tripped out if I see somebody do that too. I'm just trying to touch up on here and be sure there's no gunk. And also to lift off some of the fibers that this Q tip's leaving behind. Look at that, it's still some stuff on it. Contacts, those holes are where these pins go down. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take my brush and brush a little bit. Isn't that a pretty brush? All right. cleaning stuff off the best I can, man. I'm not gonna re-solder anything. Although I did take soldering in microelectronics for my IT. Network admin is my, my degree. But I don't do that very often. And if it was that bad, I probably would have a professional redo it, recondition this thing. I'm hoping that this is a good enough little maintenance job that it makes these are ugly look at that maybe i'll scrub those spray that thing down i mean i'm not trying to enter it into any you know beauty competition but you gotta take pride in your stuff i like trying to get things to work and looking nice Brings me, I might want to take, a, I've got the controllers over here. I might spray some of that stuff into the connecting part and clean, scrub those out too. I've never had problems with the controllers. That's not the main problem. The main problem has been it freezing up. Plain and simple. Putting these teeth out. These pins are very important. Quite important. Some bristles in there and try to scrub, scrub, scrub. I've already done that to my two main cartridges. But really, these are the only games I, I have. But I love Mario Kart 64 and Killer Instinct just the best. I've already scrubbed the mess out of these things on the tip right there. Try to clean those contact points as best you can. Again, alcohol work. I've got that electronics cleaner. I feel like it's a little bit better, but that's just what I think. It may not be true. They don't look like they have any oxidation. You can see normally these things will have this greenish kind of oxidation hue to it whenever they're not good, but they look okay. And like I said, since I'm here, Grab the tips of these things. Yeah. Just a smidge.
I only have two controllers because it's just me and my wife and uh, I don't need extra controllers because she's the only one I can beat the mess out of on these games. She doesn't stand a chance. Old school for the win, baby. All right. Ooh, this thing's nice and cool. That's good. And this, I'm going to do the same thing in there. I've already done the back side. I'll do this side. No, I can't do too much damage. You can always be careful of what's sticking up because you're going to put down force on it. But the topmost pieces are these these three pieces in this so I'm not too worried about it I will probably hold it here to support that just got to use common sense folks when working with electronics look at how it works try to visualize what's going on can't figure it out there's tons of videos out there there's not a whole bunch on on this 64 though that's why I decided to go ahead and film this I'm not doing anything awesome I'm just I thought, you know, just film it and show the process. And a few people thinking about doing theirs might find this helpful. I need to let this thing dry out so I can brush my teeth this week. I already got my one time in for the week last Saturday. Power supply, get a squirt in there. Audio video connector. The back sides of these don't look awesome, actually. Oh yeah. Come on, bro. Oh, uh, that's that reset button. Well, shoot. I can't get in there too much. I could stick the Q-tips in there, but again, I'm not seeing the fault with the power or the buttons. So I'm not too worried about it. All right. All right. And just for shiggles, I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a wipe down. a hair of that um, tops of these and they may have used some type of thermal paste uh, I'm not certain and that could be the issue it could be that it's getting too hot and there's no thermal paste to connect that but I, I don't feel like I remember seeing in any of the videos that people do that I do have some thermal paste so I could re I could paste the tops of these to help dissipate the heat but I'm just not sure. So, it's not hard to take apart. I could do it later if need be. Let's see, it's almost dry the second you spray it down there. It's almost dry immediately. All right, a little bit of gunk. All right, that. So I did clean some stuff. It's not just wasting my time here. Oh, I missed that one. I better not go off the basketball. All right. I'm gonna cut, go dry off the base. 
and reassemble this joker. Alrighty, I'm back and I've dried this thing. I used my wife's hair dryer to help speed it up because I don't want to wait all day to put it back together. So it's dry and ish. I still some bit of moisture in there. Alright, let's get this out of the way. It looks like this, if I recall, yeah, I was going to say, I think there was writing on the front. I'm not sure if that matters, but it might. Just snaps into place easily. Don't force it. Just give it some snug push. This will completely encapsulate this piece. So that's the bottom. I'm using this as a reference to guide, guide to line them up, by the way. I feel like it's right there. That feels pretty snug. Same thing, those teeth go in about right there. You can feel it. It's all snug and back together. This cap, don't forget to put your cap on. You can see the top notch right there that'll fit over that. So going in the right way. The holes line up. I say that as I'm definitely not lining the holes up. Why? Because I have it in there backwards. There we go. Mm, I see what I'm doing wrong. It appears that I need to come in front so that I can get this light under this hood. So let's do that. tilt I think these pieces have to be in here as well so let's see if I can Am I doing this the right way let's see yep I bet not yep I had that upside down that's why that wasn't going so now it should just slide down into place. You'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. It takes a minute. Look at that. All right, everything's in place. <laughs> I didn't put these back. Oh man, okay, round, round three. There we go. It, none of this has to be forced, by the way. It easily fits back into place if you have it in the right spot. Now, all right, 
And now, if it wasn't for this, I'd be lost. I'd wonder which one is next, but I know which one is next. These two are next. These are the long ones that I said be careful with because they feel like they're strippable. Back them. I'm not going to use that. I will use it to snug them down once I get there. This one actually won't need it. This one's right on. I'm not going to go tighter than hand tight here. And this one needs a little bit of this coercion. It feels good. Don't want to strip them. These two went to this. Let's see which one fits this better. No. hand snug. I'm definitely not over tightening. This is plastic. It's getting it down. I'm using the tips of my fingers, by the way. That's how I, that's your human, uh, what are those things called? Those wrenches that automatically stop when you get them too tight. That's what I'm doing. I just pull my fingers back. Just use the tip of my fingers because they can't tighten too much. Once I get to the to the end, yeah. Shoot! I need to magnetize the tips of these. These two longer ones went back here. And these five where they went. Well, I'll figure it out. So when this goes down, six there, but are these the same size as those? Not really. I believe these, I know the shallow ones go in the top. And this one We'll go in down here. In fact, I can do that one now. I have terrible eyesight, by the way, guys. I'm supposed to get some read readers. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> but I need to. My near vision is totally blurry. <clears throat> take the perimeter. I know one of these comes up from the bottom. Let me look at the bottom. It's this one. But these three over here, all three of these need to be fastened. Oh, that's not one at all. Oh, well, that's the problem. That's why I thought there was an extra one. 
it's one, two, three, four, five. That's not, that's just a, a guide hole. That's how bad my vision is. Don't make fun of me. I'm still doing good for an old man. Nice and snug. These two fit right down onto those notches. Very easy to remember where this goes. to what the washers had a little spot right there Now you can see how confusing this can get. <laughs> I can't screw those down yet. I have to slip that piece under there. I told you, man, I've got old man memory. What was that, 30 minutes ago? I don't know if I, how much I've edited this video to chop off time, but it was probably 30 to 40 minutes ago that I was at that stage of taking these apart. And I forgot. All right. Yeah, I tightened that down and it bent that flap a little bit. And it's so shiny, it's obvious that it was under here because A, it's got to, it has to go in this slot. And B, it's super shiny. The rest of this is kind of dirty. Actually, I should clean this one too. I'm gonna grab a paper towel and wipe this part off with that with that spray. Yeah. Let's get these two in there first. I'm not gonna snug it down until this one's in there. In fact, I'll snug this one first and come back to that one. Torque wrench. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Sliding my fingers up onto the end of this thing is like a torque wrench. Gives me less strength and I won't squeeze too much. All right. Get these heat sink screws. Another thing too, when I start these, sometimes they feel like they'll get resistance on the thread. If you ever get that, feel a little resistance, you should have none. Immediately stop. Like for example, I'm gonna come in wrong with this screw. And so let's say I go in and I feel some resistance, which I just did. Just back out until you hear the, the notch. 
or you feel it. See, you could hear it and I felt it. And then I'm in the groove and it goes in easily. You don't want to strip any of this. Heat sink material is usually a little more delicate than the rest. So I usually start by backing it up. Honestly, I think I probably do that habitually at this point instead of just putting it in and cranking down. Yeah, now that I'm paying attention, I think either I do that often or I'm doing it now because I've said something about it. Isn't the human mind funny? And see, now I'm feeling all kinds of resistance. And there we go. That may not have even been there unless I'd said something about it. Things feel solid. The rest of these screws are top chassis, so essentially this is back together at this point. A little bit of dirt right there. Since it's open, I might as well clean it, make sure that nothing's dirty. All right, I'm gonna go dry the lid off, use my wife's hair dryer again, and uh, get that thing over here. Are, even though I washed them, it's still ugly. I saw a video, <clears throat> I want to say somebody used, I might try it later after it's assembled too, is wiping it down with some like a mineral oil or something like that, WD-40 maybe, I can't remember. All right, so power button. Looks like it's just gonna snap in from the front here. Yep, you can see the guide. Plus, it says reset, like, not upside down. So it's kind of a, a tip, too, that you're doing it the right or the wrong way. And it looks like power is in the off position. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that they're lined up, down, down, so that I don't put it on there and mash that shit out of that button, tear it up. All right, so reassemble the cartridge flap piece. Now, I want to say that I put that left-right is actually top-bottom. And this just slides down. Yeah. Yeah, and this, this little spring will go behind that piece there. Just like that. It's the door flaps. those two screws finger torque all in all if you include my screw ups I've probably had an actual hour of time into this in between going to get coffee and piddle farting around it's not that much time. So it's 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 something that's pretty easy as long as you have a good idea in your head of what needs to be done. Look at that. I scrubbed the mess out of these things. <clears throat> All right. Now, I haven't cleaned. This is the memory expansion module. I don't believe this is the culprit, but I'm going to go ahead and sh shoot a piece in there. Scrub this choker. But I did read where some people said your memory module could be an issue for freezing. And it may not be that it's bad. Maybe there's oxidation on this. Who knows? I'm doing the whole thing. Like I said, I don't want to... I'd prefer to not open it again. But in case I had to, I could. Now, this little, these two pieces that came from the kit that I bought have a larger one and a smaller one. The smaller one fits on things like this. And it also fits on these game. So I could open these up and clean those if need be, but I don't think that they're the problem. It actually looks like it is a 3.8 and a 4.5 star bit or whatever it is. 
rounded star. Who knows? It's called a game bit for Nintendo 64 system is what I bought it under on Amazon. All right. So we're almost done with this bad boy. Put it together. Good. These have notches so that they'll fit and stay in place. Just spin it until it clicks. Now, get all of those silly screws in. They're all the same size, so I wasn't too worried about it. Just put them in a particular order. No sense in going crazy. Just barely finger snug on these things. Two more, one here and one here. These two screws here. Hmm, I don't know what goes on them. That's those two little levers. There's no screws left. Comment below if you look at the bottom of your Nintendo 64, if these two pieces look like they have a screw attached to them. Mine do not. There it is. Then we pack back in the right way. Cat back on there. Man, I've had this thing for so long. All right, I'm gonna do a cut now and go connect it to the TV and uh, put the camera up. I'm just gonna play Mario Kart. All righty, guys. So here's the magic moment. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm gonna put the cartridge in. I've already selected the TV channel for video. I've already connected all that stuff. That's common sense stuff. So let's see how it goes. Boot straight up, that's good. Turn the volume down a little bit. Bose sound system is awesome, by the way, that little bar guy from Sam's. Um, we got to turn the light off. It's in the kitchen because the glare is in my eyes. Now, it looks awesome right now, and that's cool, but this has never been the issue. It's always booted, especially Mario Kart. Killer Instinct's given me issues before, and I'll try that next. But it's always booted, so let's see how long I can play the game. I have not played in a long time, so I'm going to play the 50cc. My best character is Toad. Just going easy peasy to give a little test. But I would say, like 10 minutes in, 
because when it usually will freeze up. Pretty pixelated too. I wonder if there's some settings I could change to make it look a little better and smoother. I'm not sure. If you know the answer to that, post it below. be my day room. This might be the free freezing. Yep, sure is. So, 
shoot. How much time did I get out of this time? I probably got five minutes out of it. So I don't know what causes it. If you guys do, let me know. I bet it's that heat. I'm, I'm gonna feel it. It didn't feel hot. Didn't smell hot. It's funny that the sound is still playing fine. Oh well guys, if any of you have any clues of what causes this, let me know, post a comment or a video. But at least it could be that memory that's back packed in. Huh. Let me know guys. Thanks. At least the video is good for disassembly and reassembly. <laughs> So I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I, obviously I didn't fix the issue, but at least you can see a, a tear down and a rebuild. I actually went ahead and ordered some memory uh, jumper pack from Amazon, like 10 bucks for 256K. And I'm hoping that's it. So maybe I'll update in the comments below this video later and pin it if that was the solution. If you guys have any uh, questions or any advice for me at that, Shoot them down here, let me know. Take care.